Hey guys, welcome back. And in this part, we're going to go ahead and start um, creating the arm. As you can tell, I went ahead and uh, made the arm apart from the hand, um, just so you guys can um, get a look at what we're going to be doing in the next couple of parts. So, if I just turn these off, um, I'm going to show you the bits we're going to be making. So, there'll be this piece, um, they're obviously going to come out from the body, and then we're going to make. Um, this piece, um, not that too complicated, and uh, that same piece is duplicated on the bottom. We're going to make this join piece here. Um, as just a cylinder, really, and then um, we're going to make this sort of uh, cylinder with a straight end, um, because on top of that, going to sit this sort of uh, uh, sh shield kind of thing for the arm. So you're going to go ahead and make this as well and then obviously you're going to go ahead and just make this joint piece um, and basically by then we'll have the arm finished and we can go ahead and start working on the hand and stuff. So that's it, I'm just going to go ahead and move this um, to the side, I'm not going to delete it, Ooh, if I just group everything together, modify, center pivot um, and I'm going to go ahead and just um, add it to a block in case I'll need it, I doubt I will. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it here and I'm going to turn that off. So we're going to need a body uh, just to know where to put pieces um, and we're going to start off with this uh, join piece. So let's get started. We're going to go into our side view and I'm going to um, make this live just to make our life a little bit easier like so and we're going to start off with the cylinder so let's get our cylinder tool and going to drag it out to about here where I want it quite big I'm just going to drag out a height for now and going to move it to about there okay so that's looking pretty good and I'm just going to drag this out um, from the body a bit actually it can be out here for now so now that we align it I can go ahead and just isolate this and I'm just gonna go ahead and select these faces so I can drag a bit more width to it so I'm just gonna come out with my isolate and gonna drag it to roughly um, nearly the same width as this gap so it's fine as it is now and while this is still selected we can go ahead and start making the extrusions that we need so I'm going to go ahead and hit extrude scale and scale this in a bit to about there I hit extrude again and going to pull it out so it looks something like this and it's looking pretty good to me maybe drag it out a little bit more okay so basically this is our piece and now all we got to do is um, add in all our edge loops and such so while I'm here I'm just going to undo to the bit where these faces are still selected and hit extrude again and scale and just scale this in so we get that edge loop around there and then go to our insert edge loop tool and start adding in these loops I think that was two I'm just going to undo make sure I add in the right ones and now I'm just going to go ahead and isolate this piece so I can select these back faces and go ahead and extrude that as well so you get that edge loop around the back that looks pretty good and just select my inside edge loop tool again and add one um, around here okay and we got this piece created if we go ahead and smooth it it should look pretty good so gonna come out of my isolation mode make sure that this is not live anymore make not live and gonna go ahead and probably we might even make this um, just a tiny bit bigger I think or oh, we might leave it as it is for now if I just go into my front view um, 
I'm just going to make it a tiny bit bigger to about there for now. We might play around with the size a bit more later on. Okay, so that's looking um, pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, cylinder piece that sits on the top. And um, I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to go ahead and nick still this cylinder from here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and move this out. While I'm here, I'm just going to check my outliner. And it's a bit of a mess because of this hand that we have here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this um, just to get rid of all these groups and stuff um, that we don't need just to keep our outline fairly clean. And these poly surfaces, these are the um, these are the pieces that we made earlier. So we're just going to go ahead and while we're here we might as well name them. So we're going to name this body, bottom, door. This is going to be body, bottom, back up. This is going to be body, bottom, main. And this is our body backup as well. So what I'm going to do is group these two together and name it backup. And we can just go ahead and drag these two pieces into our into our body um, group. We're just going to rename this body. Okay, so now that this is a little bit cleaner. We can go around and start working with this. I'm going to drag this out from the neck group and just rename it um, and slim it for now. Okay, so we can go ahead and of rotate this so it looks something like this and we're also going to go ahead and rotate it this way I think let me look at this model that I have right yeah we're going to also rotate this minus 90 or oh, 0 there we go Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and move it to the right place. And obviously you're going to have to go ahead and scale and so on. So this is going to sit somewhere around here. Obviously it's going to have to be a bit thinner, something like this. And let me just have a look at this. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this a little bit inside of that piece for now and I'm going to grab actually we're going to go ahead and turn off our neck layer and everything else because we don't need them anymore um, and that's looking okay for now so if you go into our front view as you can tell um, the cylinder piece is going to be roughly here. It's quite hard to tell. Um, and this might want to be in sort of the middle of it, but we can go ahead and play around with that later on. We're just going to leave that as it is for now, and then we can go around and scale bits about um, where things would be. So, as you can tell, this joint piece would roughly be sitting in here and then we get these two other pieces they're gonna sit somewhere else um, if I just go and turn on my body layer what I'm actually gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move both of these back a little bit so I'm gonna grab both of them and group them together and just name it um, arm joint and now if I go ahead and go to modify center pivot I can go ahead and move this to the back roughly about there okay so it's looking pretty good now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, make these two joint pieces that grab the cylinder basically 
Um, so what I'm going to do is we're going to duplicate the cylinder for size sake. Um, go ahead and isolate. Going to first, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these edge loops um, just so they don't get in our way and don't confuse us and so on. So we're going to do the same thing with this and the one on the bottom. The edge. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go into our top view and basically the way this is going to be is that if you have a look at this corner here, we're going to go ahead and straighten this out. So it's going to be like a straight sort of a piece. Um, it's not going to be that complicated to do. So I'm going to select them two vertices and just snap it to about here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and start spreading this out a little bit. So this one will go here as well. Drag it up a bit. And then with this one, I'm going to actually snap it up to this where and drag it up to about here. And I'm actually going to do the same thing with this one. So drag it up to this height. Okay, so this is our basic shape. Um, we might go ahead and add in some extra loops if we need them, but I don't think we will. So for now, we're going to leave it as it is. I can go ahead and just spread this out a bit, like so. And that looks about fine. Okay, so basically this is our main shape. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add in the extra loops um, to see if this is going to smooth properly, so I'm going to go back into my top view, select these faces, and this way I select the bottom faces as well. So make sure both of them are selected, extrude scale, and we're going to set an offset to this. And I'm getting a little bit of an issue here, um, but that should be okay. If I just undo that, um, select these again, hit extrude and offset and just slow down my slider, there we go, so get that edge loop going, um, okay so there we go, we got our edge loops on the bottom, now we're just going to go ahead and we're also going to need edge loops going around here and obviously we're also going to need them going in this direction so what I'm going to do is add an edge loop here and add an edge loop here and if you notice you might think we're going to have to merge um, we're going to have to add an edge loop in here and join it up but actually we turn this triangle into a quad by adding this loop so it's actually not a problem as long as it's smooth properly so I'm going to go ahead and hit smooth and see how it's looking okay and it smooths quite nicely it's not causing us any issues whatsoever you can try and if you want you can go ahead and add in an edge going from here going all the way down there to make a triangle but um, it's actually fine being a quad. So we're going to leave that as it is. And we got a piece, so that's pretty good. Going to come out of my isolation mode and going to go ahead and drag this piece up. And if I recall correctly, this is going to be a little bit thinner. So what we're going to do is scale this down to about here. Sit it on the top, and in theory, this should be sitting somewhere up here. But I played around with this, and it doesn't look um, very good. We might do that and make this like a thicker piece, like so. Um, you know, it might look a little bit better. We'll, we'll play around with it and see how it's looking. Um, for now we're just going to leave that like that 
I'm going to duplicate, well before I do that I might want to make sure that this sits there properly um, I'm going to make this a tiny bit bigger so scale it up so if you want this cylinder to sit inside that one so I'll just make it a tiny bit more bigger and as long as this is not touching that it's going to be fine ok so that's looking pretty good um, the cylinders are fitting there quite nicely so now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and go into my side view and duplicate this and move it down about here and let's see how that's looking, that's looking pretty good to me so now we've got these two joint pieces sorted as well um, the next thing that we would need is basically the main cylinder for the arm that isn't actually a cylinder because um, you got like a straight edge so I think we're going to go ahead and make that piece and a short piece in the next part so hope you guys enjoy this part and I'll see you guys in the next episode